give this another shot. So uh, USD pairs, just kind of want to make a video about those and what I'll be looking for for this week. Um, I don't see any strong trend on uh, the higher time frames here. Uh, we're kind of going higher. Um, we've got this interesting area where we got a lot of uh, activity going on here. Um, I really got to go back and clean up all this vertical stuff. I'm not worried about the fibs. Um, yeah, it looks crazy, but I'm not too concerned with that. Um, what I really want to do is kind of go in and understand what's going on as far as key levels go. Um, and how much I need to be really be looking at there. It seems like these are just like, yeah, I don't need them worry, buddy. Oops, give me a second. Here's my horizontal line. So I'm really kind of just kind of wanting to touch on a zone more than anything. I think that's like way more interesting. Um, actually, you know what? I think I can actually draw in a channel. Man, thank you for your patience. <laughs> Get this shit going. So yeah, we'll just play it that way. <laughs> Make sure that this is getting counted as a channel. Oops. That's not going to do it. I can move the whole thing like this, though which is cool. So yeah, man, something like that uh, as a channel, I, I definitely think we're in a interesting spot um, to where something could happen. I could draw a fib here and just kind of see. Something like that, maybe. Mm. Not really feeling that one. Anyways, I'm going to look for a little one-to-one -one trades here. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, look for a pullback situation, trade it down, uh, maybe a pullback to uh, back just inside the zone or touching the zone and trade that down. Uh, my daily is here, so I would never have a profit target further than the 50 EMA, wherever it ends up being in this situation. So that's kind of how I'm looking at that. USD CHF. Um, this one, I've got a fib actually drawn up for this beautiful move, and the pullbacks are happening pretty cleanly. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is the best place for that, though. This is really the leg that I... So you want to measure a leg whenever you do fib, <laughs> or at least that's how I understand it and how I do it. Um, and me measuring all the way down here isn't necessarily this leg, it's this leg and then this traffic here. Um, you wanna kinda go point A to point B. Even though there's some back and forth here, it's really more of a try to measure this one piece, this leg. Um, in that case, mm, kinda. And then you can also fall victim to, uh, you know, over, uh, overly correcting it or whatever, man. There's a lot of different stuff here. This is the one that serves my analysis the best. <laughs> so I'm going to draw it this way. And that's kind of how it goes. Um, can I make it fit? Can I make the puzzle fit? Uh, does it make sense? Are there ways to kind of make that work, right? Um, obviously you, it's almost impossible to draw it perfectly. So for me, what makes sense with right now that bounced down, it actually broke through this three, eight, two, I'm going to try to trade off the three, eight, two, and then down. And if I look at the hourly chart, 
to do that, I probably, I, I could have actually taken this trade and that would have been a little bit of a profit um, if I was paying attention yesterday for a trade like this. Instead, I was too busy licking my wounds from CAD, USD CAD. Um, but yeah, something like that. Uh, even, I wonder what's happening on daily. So I'm too far on the daily. This is the same trade, the same shape up. Um, if I go just above the 50 EMA, I wonder if I still make 1%. Yeah, that's right at 1%. So remember, you never want to trade anything under 1%. So if I just do a one-to-one -one trade, back to the basics, folks, and I'm just doing a one-to-one, -one, um, this is automated. This is an automated one-to-one. -one. And when I say automated one-to-one, -one, if you guys don't know, look at some of my old videos. Um that say that in the title um but really this is me setting the trap and walking away yeah we bleed a little bit right in here but uh it's it's a quick easy uh trade there so that's really nice as far as usdcad i'm just going to sit back on this one for a while um i definitely put a lot of time and energy into this uh could have got out yesterday and made a very small profit uh, for the two trades I had here, um, not even profit. It just would have uh, helped to mitigate the 2% loss. Instead, I got all four of them got stopped out. These got stopped out early. Those got stopped out later, these two. This one not shaped up as a first trade, but I did not put a vertical line because I didn't trade it. Um, so I can even get rid of that right now. But yeah, all four of these, 4% uh, loss. And yeah, got to just wear that one, whatever. Risk is worth the reward. It sucks. Don't have a whole lot to say about that. I've said plenty. Go look at my old videos. Um, that's all I got for USD. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll make a video for NZD next. Uh, be on the lookout. All right, peace.